Hi again guys, in a previous video I explained my complete workflow for Lightroom Mobile. In this short video I'm going to explain what you do when your Lightroom Mobile account gets full, as it's something that I couldn't find anywhere online. In fact, I even phoned Adobe's own helpline and as helpful as those guys were, they didn't seem to know this either. So Adobe, uh, you need to train your guys a bit better on this, I would suggest. Let me show you what I've discovered. So the first time you're going to know you've got a problem in Lightroom Mobile is when it flashes up with a message. My Lightroom account has loads of spare memory at the moment, so I don't actually need to be doing this right now so you don't see the message. But it will give you a warning to explain that you're approaching your 20 gigabyte limit. How you can see how close you are to that limit is by pressing this cog here. If I do that and I click on cloud storage and sync as you can see this is telling me that I have backed up 1775 photographs and I have available cloud storage of 13.97 gigabytes out of 20 gigabytes in total. Now that's a little bit deceptive because I find that when I am shooting in RAW I will very quickly fill up 10, 20 gigabytes, so, you know, a few hundred photographs can get you quite close to there. And I almost came a cropper when I was on holiday this summer. So let me show you what you do to clear out the storage. I should just say that this solution requires you to have an Adobe Creative Cloud photography account and also for you to be running Adobe Classic on your PC or Mac. All will become clear in a moment. So when you log into Adobe Creative Cloud on your PC, what will happen is that your photographs you've taken and uploaded to your mobile device will sync with a folder on your desktop. Now you'll see from other online tutorials that you can sync from your phone to your computer and from your computer to your phone. The difference is that if you upload a raw file to your computer and sync that to your phone, what's going to happen is that a smart preview will be synced to your phone, which is much smaller in memory and lower in resolution than the original raw file. On the other hand, if you upload to your phone or your tablet, the sync the other way will sync the full raw file. So let's just take an example here. Can you see if I hover over this picture of this bird? Let me just open up for you so you can see it. It's telling me over here that that's the .rw2 file, which is my Lumix camera's proprietary RAW format. And if you look <coughs> at the file as it appears on the hard drive, you'll find that it's the full resolution file. So that's great. What I wanted to be able to do then was to just take a backup of this file and the other files that are on my camera, but to keep the edits that I have made on my Lightroom mobile. And this is where I couldn't get a proper answer from Adobe. They gave me two solutions. Solution number one was to go to the Adobe website, which I've got open here. And if you've got the Creative Cloud account, what will happen is that your library will appear on here. And they said to me what I needed to do was to download individual photographs from here. However, upon doing that, this is what I found out. If you go open the photograph and click this download button, it is indeed possible to download the photograph. But what you can download is either the original or the latest version. Whereas what I wanted to do was to keep all of my non-destructive edits that I'd done on my phone and on my iPad so that I could return to the photograph later on. And that's clearly just not possible to do here. After spending probably as much as an hour on the phone with the Adobe support team, who as I say were incredibly helpful in trying to find a solution but didn't seem to understand my workflow, I stumbled across the answer myself. Um, all you need to do is this. If you click on 
the catalogue over here. Mine's already open, but if it wasn't, it would appear on the sidebar at the side of Lightroom. And you click on All Synced Photographs. Then it's possible to see this group of photographs that I've just been looking at here. So if I look at this photograph of the bird here again and I hover over it and right click it, what I get is a series of options and near the bottom of those options is this option here, remove from all synced photographs. If you click on that option it will say to you one photo will be removed from all synced collections from Lightroom Mobile but will not be deleted from the desktop catalogue. Now that's exactly what I want. Now word of warning guys, that option is not available in any of the other folders in your catalogue. So if, let me close this a second. If I find that same photograph in the Lightroom Mobile folder here it is, I think it's that one, no it's that one, it's already highlighted and I right click on it, it's not there, I can remove the photo and if I click on remove photo that will delete it from all devices which I don't want to do. So you've got to be in that folder all synced photographs and from here what happens is if I click on the button, click OK what it's now done is remove that photograph from this folder. Now I can do that with a group of photographs at the same time. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but it will still remain in my Lightroom mobile folder here. So the fact that that picture is no longer in the all synced photographs folder tells me that it's no longer going to appear on my mobile device. Actually, in some cases, I'd quite like some of these photographs to appear on my mobile. And if I wanted that one to appear again, then here's what I can do. <clears throat> the first thing I tend to do is to move it out of the Lightroom mobile folder, because I only want stuff in that folder that is actually syncing up and current. So what I tend to do is just drag that picture, left click and drag, into this folder down here, which is a sort of Lightroom mobile archive folder I've created. Moving a file on the disk. So what that's going to do is move the original picture down into that folder here. So if I click on that folder, scroll to the bottom, I am going to, I hope, <coughs> find that picture. There it is there. But here then is how I get that picture back onto my phone but just as a thumbnail so that it's not taking up any space. I need to use this section of Lightroom here and it's called Collections. Now Collections, as the name suggests, are just um, folders that are created for the purposes of grouping together photographs that you wish to keep together. So I've created this folder called Lightroom Mo Mobile Archive and all you do to create a new folder is to click on this button here, New Collection and uh, then it will give you the opportunity to rename it and then once you've done that you need to do something else which is to click on that button that says sync with Lightroom Mobile. So that archive folder is now syncing with Lightroom Mobile. One final thing I want to do is to set it as my target collection and you can see I've already done that and all that allows me to do is to look at the folder where my the photograph I wish to sync up is stored and to right click on that photograph click the button add to target collection when I do that if I click on the mobile archive button here you can see that that is now in there so I had 1500 pictures before I've now got 1501 what that will do then is that it will create a smart preview of that picture to upload back to my phone. So if we were to look at my phone right now, you'd find that that photograph would be back in there. And of course, what I can do is to reload all of the photographs I wish back onto my mobile device that way. But the beauty is that when you do this, they take up far less space. 
so you can keep the pictures on your phone to share in a low res way and or show other people and or keep editing them. However, they'll not be taking up the space on your Lightroom mobile account. So that in a nutshell guys is how you create more space on your Lightroom mobile account. Well I hope that's been of some value. If it has then please subscribe. Please leave your comments down below. Please share your experiences. This may not be the only way of doing this. You may have a better idea. If that's the case, then do share it. Uh, it'd be great for us to share our experiences and share our photography journey together. Thanks for watching.